last year when Calabo was in person or supposed to be, Feta and I were driving together. I was excited to speak. It was my first ever Calaba. Uh, we like to call it the Cal Non-Friends, uh, for those of us who are ready to have a joke about it. And I remember getting out of the car and Feta saying to me, you're not going to believe this. The, the conference, it's been canceled. I just got a text. And she's such a jokester that I, I didn't believe it. Um, many of you know what happened after that as far as the pandemic and, and everything else that we've all been experiencing in the past year. But I owe a debt of gratitude in this very bizarre way to the fact that the conference was canceled. Because of that, I got to spend 10 days with Feta and Mu in their home. And if you've never had the opportunity to spend time with your friend, especially a friend who has a child with severe autism, let me tell you, after 20, 25 years in the field, nothing is a better teacher than seeing for a moment and living the lives that these families, that our families, that our clients live. Feta is a powerful advocate. She will move mountains. She has. She will continue to do so. Muhammad is every bit as incredible and inspirational as Feta is. And it's hard to believe that there could be more than one sort of life force in the same family. Um, I've had the chance to meet some of their other family members, and I can tell you that that energy is palatable and must be hereditary. I want to take this opportunity to echo for everyone what I hear Feta saying every day, what she says to every person she meets in our field and our profession. She's been invited to be around some, you know, rub some elbows with some big wigs out there, some incredibly talented, smart, and innovative individuals. And she will listen and she will listen with patience. And when you are done speaking, she will thank you for everything you've done and she will ask you, and what are you going to do for my son? What does this fancy assessment tool mean? What does it mean to laminate all of these things and have all of these providers? What is it going to mean for my son? Muhammad had so many amazing, caring and compassionate caregivers, friends, uh, team members, family, that there were many people committed to giving him the best life possible. And I hope to think that we helped him have that. For all of you who are listening, who want to know how we can continue to allow Feta and Mu to live on, it's a great honor for them to be receiving the Jerry Shook Award. I can hear Feta kind of laughing and dismissing it, saying, who am I? Who is he? For those of you who don't know, Jerry Shook was a visionary in the field of behavior analysis and is the reason why we have our credentialing board. Feta, Amalidi, and Mu are the reason why so many children and individuals, adults, have access to insurance. So I ask all of you, what are you going to do for her son and for all of the Muhammads out there? For me, my commitment is that I'm going to elevate clinical care. I'm going to make sure that my recommendations and that the density makes sense, that the service and the targets make sense. I'm going to implore all of you to listen to families. They know their children the best. We may know the science, that's awesome. Let us help one another and do it together. So every day I've committed to saying Feta and Muhammad's name aloud. Thank you, Kawaba, for giving me the honor and the platform to do that today for all of you. I have my commitment to them and to their legacy, and I ask all of you to join me. Um, with that, I'd like to uh, give the floor to Mae Soon, who is one of Feta's sisters and someone who I've had the pleasure of getting to know.